Hey guys, Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. And this week I've got a great tutorial for you. I'm going to show you Boundary Warp. And this is a great way of fixing the edges when you do a panorama inside of Lightroom. So since Lightroom CC and Lightroom 6, Lightroom has had the ability to stitch together panoramas. So basically you shoot a bunch of photographs and then you stitch them together into a larger photo. And this is a great way of upping your uh, pixel resolution so you can print really large or to create sweeping vistas and panoramas. One of the things I love to do is aerial panoramas. And uh, I've been doing these for quite a while with my drones and uh, I absolutely love it. You can just get some amazing results with these. So this is just a passion of mine. I do it all the time. And I've been putting these together inside of Lightroom. But one of the challenges I've had has been the edges because it creates these weird shaped edges and then you have to crop it and you lose a lot of information. The other option is you can pop into Photoshop and then when you take it into Photoshop, then you've got to create a huge TIFF file and then you can synthesize the edges, but not anymore. I just absolutely love the boundary warp feature and I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So let's jump in and use it right now. All right, one of my favorite things to do is to shoot aerial panoramas with my drones, particularly my Inspire 1 and my DJI Phantom 3. So this morning I went out uh, before sunrise and I captured this incredible uh, twilight. You can see the colors here in the sky are quite breathtaking. And this is at Laguna Beach. So what I've done is I've selected three of these images that I'm going to merge together into panorama. So I'm just going to right click with those selected and I'm going to choose uh, photo merge and we're going to go down to panorama. So we're going to click on panorama and the panorama window is going to open up. And it's going to take just a second here because these are the raw files that I'm working on. And there we go. So we've got this beautiful panorama. There's bird rock there with the bird. And, uh, and everything's good, but we get these edges. And this has always been one of the problems with this. So I could go in Lightroom. I can merge them together. And one of the things I've done in the past is I've then I've transferred it to Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I'll use Content Aware Fill to fill up these edges. And then I'll use um, just different tools to kind of clean it up. So we can do this all now with this new boundary warp. If we look at this boundary warp tool, we can actually just start to go like this. And what it does is it just fills out those edges. And if you want to make it uh, fill it all the way up, just take it all the way to the end. And there we go. And what it's done is it's distorted this photograph to fit. But notice the horizon as well. If we go back here, you can see the horizon was just a little bit crooked. But if I pull the boundary warp all the way up, that just perfectly straightens it up and gets rid of those edges. Now, the good thing about this, if we've done it in the past where we go down here and we hit the auto crop, which is what we normally do, we start to lose uh, information on the edges at the top and the bottom and around here. But if we use the boundary warp, notice how all that information comes back. So that's one of the really cool things about that is uh, it gives us a little bit more in the sky and a little bit more in here without having to go to the content aware. So it's just a beautiful option. I'm just going to hit merge now. And what it's going to do now is it's just going to merge it together. You can see up here on the left there, it's merging the panorama and it'll appear down here in the film strip in a second when it's done. I love using Lightroom for these panos because it just saves so much time um, doing that because, you know, we can... Uh, see exactly how it's going to look before we do it. All right, so here we go. So we're done. And now we just want to yeah, go to our photograph that we've done. I'm just going to double click here. And we can see there's our panorama right there that we've just merged together. So let's pop it open. And we can see there that it's all done. So we could go in and do all the adjustments and the finalizing and stuff like that uh, later on. And if you want to see all those steps, check out my DVD that I just launched at photoshopcafe.com on the Phantom 3 and the Inspire 1. It's nine hours on working with aerial photography and video and that covers a lot of different things. So as you can see, this is a great feature. Not only is it going to save a bunch of time, it makes it really easy to create stunning panoramas now with all that detail around the edges. So anyway, if you liked this video, become a subscriber. All you're going to do is just click that subscribe button right now. It's instant and it's free and you'll get a new tutorial every week when I put out the new tutorial. Also, don't forget to like it, add a comment and also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You'll see that at Photoshop Cafe because every day I post a new photograph, uh, particularly aerial panoramas and aerial photos from my drone to Instagram at Photoshop Cafe and also to Facebook at Photoshop Cafe. Also Google Plus if you are using a G Plus. So until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the cafe and that's photoshopcafe.com.